this tutorial will start with Aspen Plus version 8 and we will use it to simulate pressure drop in different pipe with different diameters or different size start with new okay and then blank simulation create once we create the our model we have different we have properties and we have simulation and energy analysis actually energy analysis is not important in this part of simulation our simulation so we'll focus only on properties and simulation in properties we will put our component in this case water and we also will select the simulation or we select the uh, model we'll use to do the analysis in simulation part we we'll draw our different component different pipes and we will do the required simulation so let's let's start with properties okay component here I have only water also you can if you don't know the exact name of your component you can choose fine and you can put um, right or uh, equal or begin with and you can find it but because I know my um, component is water so just I will write water okay and enter okay it's automatically wrote the type and wrote the component name and also the formula go to for setup and setup okay here you can put the title so we can say a uh, fraction and pipes okay uh, the unit is I and the phase liquid only because I work with water okay this is end setup okay let's go again for method in method if I'm not sure about which method I should select so it's better to go for method assistant a method assistant okay in this wizard he will help me so go for next um, then start by selecting one of the following option specify component type or specify process so I will work with water so I will select specify component type then another options chemical system hydrocarbon system or special just mean water amine or so water uh, or refrigerant so I will select special water only because I will work with water only then which the type okay water only okay then he advised me about some components so and here you can read more on each one what is the advantage and disadvantage and why you should use it and limitation of each one then base method method filter water okay base method steam ta now once it's converted from red to blue just have to add more information okay now this part the properties part is finished so let's go to simulation part and simulation part flow sheet here you can find the blocks you can use so I will work with pressure changer to pipe so I want to test the pressure drop in four pipes or four types of pipe so let's add one two three and four then each one should have a stream and all of them has the same same quantity of water to the pipe so let's go for manipulator and here I have a different type of manipulator in each one there's specification so for for, for example for uh, steam duplicator manipulator used to copy a stream to any 
number of outlets that mean if i put the duplicator here if i put it here that mean the inlet the outlet of this one will be the same for all i should also put the stream so i have stream inlet actually this arrow may be red or maybe blue if you find it red that mean it's important to put a value for this one for this inlet or for this outlet but if you find it blue that mean it's optional you can add or not add it's up to you so now it's material we have material inlet so i choose material you can also choose if work or heat but because i'm i'm working with mass balance so this is material then now let's start with pipe one now as you can see the arrow become blue because in this unit or this block it's it's already done but still i have outlet outlet one we have pipe three then for pipe four so now i have four pipes and i have streams uh still i don't have stream for outlet of pipes and it's important to add okay material one two and three properties of these pipes add the properties by uh, from block here or you can double click on each pipe so you can put the properties so by double click okay, we have two purpose in this model we have we want to test the effect of roughness and we and effect of pipe diameter so we should keep the pipe length same in all so we can say this is 100 meter okay pipe length the inner diameter you can choose your inner diameter if you or you can use from schedule this schedule if you have um, this is for industrial known pipes for example you can put um, carbon steel so in carbon steel you can choose also the carbon steel number carbon steel for the schedule number as the schedule increase that means the thickness of pipe wall also increase so I can choose for example 10 okay and here I can choose the diameter for example let's test one inch okay it automatically give me the inner diameter and give me the roughness okay let's do the same for pipe 2 we said pipe length should be the same 100 material carbon steel schedule 10 and for diameter we can increase or decrease so let's say make it half inch instead of one inch so we have reduced diameter and also it give me the diameter and the inner diameter and give me also the roughness in bulk 3 let's change the length make it um, for example it's 50 and use the pipe schedule pipe four we want to test the effect of roughness Use the roughness here okay so instead of 05 let's make it 0.01 it's also important to name streams so here this one is feed and then we have inlet outlet go for the feed temperature and pressure temperature we can put the temperature for example we can put 25 okay and pressure we can we want to put the normal pressure atmospheric pressure for the total uh, total flow I will keep it in volume or in mass I'll make it liter per minute so let's make it for example 50 liter per minute the composition we only have water so it's only one the mole fraction is one by this we had finished our part of simulation we should just run the model run 
I have some error in my model so let's go for free rate to make it 5 liter okay I think now it's correct the diameter of the pipe was very small so it's not logic to put 100 liter per minute put it 5 liter minute I have no error now I want to check my result stream summary you have a lot of different data but the most important one is the pressure outlet that's this is the start or the initial value of pressure then I have different pressure drop as you can see here both pipes this one and this one has the same uh, parameter or same specification except the pipe this pipe is more rough then you can find the pressure drop here is much than pressure drop here okay so the pressure pressure value is less in this value okay also if i want to compare it to um this one is the effect of inch this is the inch is uh, 0.5 so it's um less diameter that's mean more fraction that's mean more resistance more pressure drop and now you have pressure drop here more than initial value okay also compare this pipe with one with 100 so the short pipe the short pipe has less pressure drop as the length of your pipe increase you have more pressure drop try to do the same so you can increase or decrease and you can simulate your pipe fraction lens diameter you can actually do virtual experiment and put your parameter accordingly and test your pipes i hope you had enjoyed this lesson thank you very much for watching and assalamu alaikum warahmatullah